Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Tom is on assignment tonight. A warning tonight for families preyed upon when they're most vulnerable. They're being taken advantage of while they're planning a funeral. So News Force Carly Gordon actually uncovered the issue and shows how you can avoid being a victim. Sadly, it happens. Grieving families either don't get the service they expected or they end up charged money they don't owe. You're about to hear from someone who lived that nightmare and how you can avoid that same situation. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Vileen Shelton was a nurse who worked for the state. When her family found her dead in her home on Mother's Day, well, you can imagine, they were devastated. Nobody needs to leave this world alone. The family called a Nashville funeral home to handle the body and the service. They say nothing went as planned. Ultimately, a state investigation found the company overcharged the family $638. The company was forced to pay that back plus a $1,900 fine. But for the family, the damage had already been done. You know, to me, a funeral company is supposed to be the person that tries to lift you up during this crisis. But instead of lifting me up, I got pushed up under the, the bus. Funeral homes are regulated by the state. Officials say before choosing a company to work with, you should make sure they're licensed and that the license is in good standing. You can do that by going to verify.tn.gov. You can also contact the regulatory board to see if there are any complaints against the company. As painful as it might be, uh, you're at a, uh, a place where you could be taken advantage of by someone uh, who might want to be looking to get as much money from you as you can. State officials say ask for a price list, get everything in writing, and bring a friend. Bring someone who's maybe not as emotional as you to help you and hold your hand literally while they're discussing this situation and while you're there in the funeral home. If it's too late and you've already been wronged by a funeral company, you can start by filing a complaint with the state online. We'll have the link you need on the News 4 app. Carly Gordon, News 4.